Hi everybody, Ian Arnold, PGA Director of Golf here at Bolton Golf Club. Um, this week we're going to talk about distance um, and how we can get a little bit more of it. Not easy, but with there's, there's certain ways we can, uh, by obviously spending a bit of time in the room here, uh, we can try and get you a little bit more distance. Um, the first way is obviously to look at your driver, uh, making sure it's fit for you correctly, make sure you're using the right golf club, which is going to give you ultimate performance. Um, making sure you've got the right loft on the club, making sure they've got the right shaft. Um, and ultimately making sure you've got the right head as well, just to, it all ties in, which is going to give you optimum distance. Is just to basically get your, your general swing in order, um, making sure that you're catching the centre of the face more. Okay, so any I know technology's improved um, over these over the years, but still a centred strike is going to produce the longest golf shots. Um, making sure that you get your your swing path is correct and certainly making sure your angle of attack is correct uh, and we're trying to hit on the up. Um, if you go back to the other YouTube videos, there is one um, for that of how you can how you can actually get the hit the ball a bit more on the on the up. Um, so it's going to have a little bit more distance there. Um, but the final thing is really it's, it's about speed. Ultimately the, the faster we swing the golf club, um, the more club of speed we're going to get. So that's going to be then put into the, the golf ball to give us greater distance. Okay, so speed's difficult to create. A lot of speed is created when from a very early age and you basically, it sounds lots it, but you've either got it or you've not. Okay, so the third way um, we can give you more distance is basically to increase your speed, um, which is not so easy to do. Um, and when you do increase speed, what you are sacrificing maybe a little bit is obviously the accuracy. Okay, so you've got to figure out how much what the balance is, do you want to be further down there, go a bit more offline or further back and hit the fairway. So that's the the, um, the kind of argument you need for yourself to say, right, okay, what is it I, I want? Um, to give you a little bit more speed, oh, it's difficult to see, when you get older, it's a little bit more difficult to generate speed. Um, speed's really generated um, work from a younger age, when the, obviously you can see all the kids coming through now on tour and they're swinging at a, like, kind of ridiculous kind of speeds. Um, it's because they've been trained that way from an early age. The way in which I'm going to try and help you out a little bit is to give you this little um, this drill that, that I use to good effect, which will start to increase your club head speed. If you get yourself an alignment stick, um, obviously a very, very light uh, compared to a golf club, and what I want you to do, I want you to start swinging the stick. And each swing, try and get faster. And you can hear the change of sound when I'm doing that, you can hear that whip coming through. Okay, try and swing it as fast as you possibly can. Okay, obviously be careful, don't want any joints being pulled out of um, where they shouldn't do, but I just want you to get a real feel of speed. Once you've done that a few times, then pull your driver out. And then really try and recreate that kind of speed feeling, okay? When you hit the first few shots, don't worry where the ball's going to go because it will go offline. But I really want you to just feel speed, okay? Speed of the golf club, speed of the golf club head, and let's see if we can transfer that into extra yardage. Okay, so there's a little drill you can do using the alignment stick, um, swinging it as fast as you can each time, um, and just try and get faster and faster and faster with it. A little um, tip you can do as well, also try it left-handed. Again, you're gonna swing it faster right-handed than left-handed, but just try and put that equal balance in there so each side is getting more balance. Okay, so that's a little, little tip you can use. Um, use it with caution, again, you're gonna I don't want you to injure yourself when you're doing this, but I just want to feel you can generate a little bit more speed by just hitting it harder, by swinging it faster, okay? Um, be prepared to lose a bit of accuracy, because um, you may lose a little bit of control, but with a bit of practice, you'll start to really get the feel uh, of on the understanding that you can swing it faster, but still keep in control of, the, of, of where the golf ball's going, okay? Give that a go. Um, like I say, be careful with it, um, but certainly look at the other aspects making sure you drive the stick correctly and making sure that you're swinging it, um, swinging it well to start with, uh, but then try the, the alignment cane uh, and 
and see how you go. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll see you all soon.